Along the Gulf Coast of the United States, federal and state authorities are helping the region recover from one of the largest oil spills in the planet's history. And an important part of that effort, both environmentally and economically, is ensuring that the seafood harvested from the Gulf of Mexico is safe to eat. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, along with the FDA and EPA, is overseeing the safety checks. NOAA ships catch fish and deliver them to the National Seafood Inspection Laboratory in Pascagoula, Mississippi for testing. One of the tests involves a low-tech way to analyze the food, smell. NOAA's Steve Wilson heads the inspections. He says a nose can be very discerning. It could be construed that it's nuanced, but in fact it's very hard science. It's, it's repeatable, it's statistical, and uh, with the proper training, very, very, very viable. So it's, it's a good science. The lab has been testing gulf fish samples for months. Researchers are careful to identify each fish and where it came from to ensure accurate tracking of any contamination. Every individual fish is wrapped in aluminum foil with a label inside, wrapped in um, garbage bags, and a label outside. The inspections have helped guide decisions to close portions of the Gulf to fishing and to reopen others. More than 200 million gallons of oil spilled into the Gulf of Mexico between April and September. At the peak of the closures, fishermen were prohibited from more than a third of area waters. About 13% of federal waters still remain closed to fishing. In the lab, researchers carefully cut samples from each skinned fish. Some will be frozen and shipped to another lab in Seattle for chemical analysis. Others are destined for the smell test at the Pascagoula lab. Wilson compares it to wine tasters or other experts in food industries. He stresses the nose is amazingly sensitive we can get them sensitive to one part per million contamination in the, in the seafood product. This is not that easy. Um, even the experts sometimes get a false positive or a false negative. So to, to uh, uh, deal with that, we have a panel, and it's the panel results, the individual expertise and the statistical reliability of the panel as a number that make the difference on this. Wilson says the chemical lab tests are highly accurate and may be more sensitive than smell but the nose can catch things that technology may miss. The sensory looks at the combination, the, the acceptability, unacceptability, difference from normal. They look at the whole picture. Chemistry would in fact pick on specific compounds and explain their levels, not necessarily acceptable or unacceptable unless you've set a mark. So far, seafood coming out of the Gulf has been deemed safe, but the public's fear of contamination hits seafood markets and fishermen hard. Unless consumers trust that commercial fishermen are providing a clean catch, the stigma attached to Gulf seafood may last for a while.